But she says it's all just drama, but every bubble's got to pop She's gonna say just what you're doing, and then you're finally gonna have to What? Thank you so much for 500 subscribers So, what have I been up to while I was away? Oh, not much, just basically doing a bunch of derivatives and integrals and calculus maths and reading weather maps and finishing research assignments, please send help but basically, I've been working on an entire Breath of the Wild clone in Godot. So how did this start? Well, I was already working on recreating the overworld from Breath of the Wild using Godot until I opened Reddit one day and I see this post saying just finished making a Breath of the Wild clone in Godot. Of course, I wasn't mad or anything. Why would I be? I just got into contact with them and I was like, listen here, you little sh**. The only person who makes Breath of the Wild stuff in Godot is me. So, you know, he open sourced the entire project and then I picked it up and started merging all of my work from the overworld into his project. You see, the thing is, his clone is the entire shrine areas from Breath of the Wild. Like, I mean everything from stasis, magnesis, cryonis, and the remote bombs, including full puzzles for the shrine. I mean, this guy even has an entire title screen with custom artwork for a bean character. However, that still leaves the entire overworld as, well, non-existent. And that's when Dakota Arts comes in. So here's some gradual progress on me remaking the overworld, up until you get to see exactly with what I'm left with right now. Here's the technicalities of it, but briefly summed up. I used the Yi Greatest of Greats plugin Silence Hardmap Terrain in order to render the terrain in game. However, I actually made the terrain using TerraSculptor, which is an open source height map generator. Then I used Zalan's plugin to texture the entire thing. My only issue is that I needed to use the multi splat 16 shader. However, it didn't have support for triplanar texturing, so I just added it in myself. The sky is actually today's work. I hopped onto Breath of the Wild and saw that they have actual procedural clouds. So in true Nakoda Arts fashion, I made a stylized cloud shader myself and then added it into the world. Oh, and before somebody asks me how I did the grass, the answer is very simple. Stop using multi-mesh instance, except that particle shaders are superior to multi-mesh instance, and then you too can render over 1.2 million blades of grass with absolutely no problem. How is that possible? When you use a multi-mesh instance, you rely on your CPU, but when you use particles, it's all done entirely on your GPU, which is why it's so much faster. For reference, I've made everything you see here, as well as recorded and edited this video on my laptop. It's not a gaming laptop either, it's just my Ryzen 7 4700U with its integrated graphics. There's really nothing fancy about it. Could you render that much grass with multi-mesh instance? No. Why? Because particle shaders are the Sigma instancing method, and you better believe it. Oh, and the water is yet another shader, it's just depth fading with normal maps, a little bit of a white border. Uh, the only thing left for the water really is to make really cool splash effects like how they are in Breath of the Wild. That sums up all of my work for this remake so far. There's still plenty of stuff remaining like enemies, the combat system, various VFX, and trees for the overworld. But I hope that at least this is a little interesting for those of you who are watching. And I swear if I hear one more person saying Godot can't make 3D games, I'ma smack the f*** out of that person. Thank you so much for 500 subscribers and for watching. That's it, bye. Didn't think I'd get 500 subs, but you better believe that it's all thanks to you. So thank you, yeah. so thank you. Yeah. I want to die after seeing this shit. Please end my life. Oh.